it's me, Kimberly, just your friend who's been struggling all day. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. I didn't, you know what, I did change this morning out of my pajamas into new pajamas. You're welcome. I'm feeling fresh. Hair is still greasy, so the hat is on. This is my life now. <laughs> all right, I was getting a bunch of texts. Back to it though, I need to get some stuff done around the house today, so let's do it together. Also, this video is sponsored by Green Chef. Humongous thanks to them for supporting me. And bigger thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content, that's a big deal. So I will share more about Green Chef in just a moment. Okay, I put the baby down so I could focus and share with you about Green Chef. And I was so happy to receive my Green Chef meal straight to my front door this week because it was just a chaotic week, and isn't it always? So Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company. They offer clean, delicious dinners with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured amazing ingredients that save you time. They've got options for every lifestyle. I'm talking keto, vegetarian, vegan, fast and fit, Mediterranean, gluten-free. They've got something for everyone and I love that Green Chef is so convenient. The meals show up right to my door, no grocery shopping, no meal planning necessary. They take care of all of that. And it's easy too with their step-by-step -step instructions and pre-measured ingredients, which speaking of the ingredients that were in my kit were great quality with sustainably sourced produce. The food was, oh, can I say, restaurant quality. Good enough to make Julia Child proud because the meals are curated by expert chefs. One of the meals that I had this week turned into my like hyperfixation, trying to recreate it every day because I loved it so much meal. It was like ground beef and the seasonings were so perfect with some vegetables thrown in. I felt like I was eating something super healthy, but also it sustained my body and kept me full. Oh man, that was a winner winner. Avelina still talks about a ch some chicken that I made in one of my first Green Chef meal kits. And I just, I can't replicate it this, the same exact way. So I'm gonna have to figure that out and order that meal again. Which by the way, the meals are seasonal. They pick the best seasonably ripe produce for you and then curate the meal around that. Oh my, when I tell you it's good, I'm telling you the truth. And honestly, I'm just scraping the surface. There's so much more that I could say. I really encourage you to go check out Green Chef's website. You can use my code, thewads60, to get 60% off of your first order and free shipping. Check out greenchef.com for more details. But that's a huge offer, especially with the rising cost of groceries these days. Take advantage of someone who will do the work for you and bring it straight to your door. No thought involved, no skill involved at all. And it is so good. The meals are so good. You can have zero skill and still produce a delicious meal, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be impressed. All right, let me grab the baby. Okay, so I need to just get things rolling today. I'm probably gonna find my baby carrier because this little guy wants a 0% to do with anything other than my arms. So I'm gonna get my baby carrier, throw some laundry in, probably cook some stuff, I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm hungry. So let's get some stuff done. He just wants to be home all the time. I can't blame him, I'm pretty cool. He just loves me so much, you know? <laughs> uh, all right, so this is like pretty full. I don't know what it's, I'm just gonna add some more in here and call it a day. And I can always count on my laundry room to be like a visual representation of how well I'm doing. <laughs> Do you see the, even the painting on the wall? is like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, binky. Good, good news, this is all clean. Bad news is we have about a million loads of dirty laundry. That's good. So we'll start here, throw in a couple loads throughout the day. Actually, you know what? I have really been enjoying using this Lysol sanitizer. I know I don't use it correctly. Maybe I will today. How about that? Custom, I don't even know where to put it. I guess I'll just put a little bit here, a little bit here, and call it a day. It's like one being 1% 1 better in your life. Every day, just try to be 1% better. Speaking of that, 
I forgot to floss this morning. I didn't forget. I know it, it's on my list of things to do. I just um didn't do it. <laughs> I got distracted with too much. Let's go. Let's go to the kitchen or something. Well, hold on. I guess since we're talking about it, might as well just go floss right now. You too. Got to take a little field trip. Oh, I'm going to trip. Field trip, field trip. Oh, there's crap everywhere. I can't. There's just so much stuff everywhere. The diapers, those are from Target. But you know what? House is a mess, but my teeth are feeling great. Uh huh. You gotta rinse the floss pick every time with, so you don't transfer bacteria. Okay. I just do it like every other time. It's better than not doing it at all, right? All right, that's good enough. I've got a little tidying up to do in the kitchen. Let's just hydrate first. It purifies the soul. Rinse out our mouth. So, one of the things on my uh, list of things to make, wow, was my brain even working when I filled this sink up to uh, thaw out this sauce that I had in my freezer because, short story long, I have ricotta cheese. You have to say it like that, you just do. Like Giada <laughs> from, anyway. Uh, in my fridge, I have two containers from the last time I made lasagna. So I figured, wait, I found different recipes. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to reference Pinterest because I found a, a recipe, it was like some kind of cake with ricotta. Oh, 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 that's, I don't need the sauce. Good thing, good thing my brain wasn't working. I don't need to frost that off. The other day I made spaghetti and I'm, made an excess amount of sauce so i've just froze most of it and for dinner one night the sauce is done you just have to cook some noodles and you're good to go maybe a salad if you have the ingredients if you have the budget for a romaine heart that costs like eight bucks anyway so i threw that in but what i wanted to make what with the uh, i have two cans of ricotta or jars or whatever the heck they're in containers one gnocchis my favorite thing normally they're potato based but my dad also used to make them with ricotta. I'm so, I'm so sorry, ricotta cheese. I'm American over here. So I, that's what I'm gonna do. Those are my two things that I'm gonna make. But before I do anything, I need to tidy up this kitchen. It's like my brain can't function everywhere I look. It's just a mess. That's, how, that's life with kids, I feel like. And if you are a perfect parent and you have kids and you are so great that your house is not a mess, that's awesome. Maybe you'll rub off on me. Okay, but for me, I gotta, I gotta fix this. So I just made something from my freezer. I'm being forced to eat through my freezer because I haven't been grocery shopping in a few weeks. <laughs> I keep putting it off like, oh, I'm gonna meal plan this day and then I'll go grocery shopping, but uh, it hasn't happened yet. I think it will happen pretty soon. But until then, I am kind of enjoying eating through. I mean, that's kind of the catalyst of this video anyway. I had leftover ricotta cheese, so I'm using that to make a couple of things. But also, I found some chicken. It's like vegan chicken sandwiches from Costco. And I bought them so long ago. And I've had them before. And I remember that they were delicious. I mean, you, you can't even tell that it's fake chicken. I don't know what it's made out of. Probably soy. Probably a bunch of chemicals. Who the heck No, Maybe it's made out of chickpeas. But it doesn't taste like your typical like non-meat sandwich, you know, or burger is what I'm getting at. But it's if it's chicken, it's called a sandwich. If it's anything else, ooh, you know what else I love? Those black bean burgers. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Firstly, the chicken sandwich. <laughs> I don't know how to properly pronounce chicken. Uh, they are so good. There's supposed to be 10 in a package, but the first time I bought them, they had an extra one in there, so bonus. I think that was why I bought them again. I didn't count them because they're halfway eaten through this box anyway. So uh, that'll be for lunch today. Delicious, bringing me back to my high school days. That was one of the best school lunches I ever had were the chicken sandwiches with a little bit of mayonnaise on it. I don't even like mayonnaise, but that was my jam. And up until high school, I always brought food from home to eat. You know, I always had my own sandwiches and uh, lunch packed. But this is really bringing me back. It is supremely delicious. Maybe I'm just super hungry. And I was happy to find something decent in the freezer. I say that because even Alex this morning was like, when are you going to Costco? And I said, why? What do you need? I thought there was something specific. And he just said, food. 
So I opened the fridge. I was like, there's so much food in here. But then I didn't want to eat any of it either. So to the freezer I went. Anyway, so that's always, it's always good to like go through things and find things that you kind of forgot about. So I hope you enjoyed my little spiel about chicken sandwiches as I cleaned up my kitchen. So fun. By the way, I'm finishing up, just tidying up my sink a little bit, and I always give this a rinse. If you saw my last cleaning video, I replaced this, my old one, I showed you what my old one looked like, embarrassing, mold all over it, despite my efforts to keep it clean with vinegar, even bleach, and you know, bleach and water solution. Anyway, someone told me that you can just throw it straight into your dishwasher like once a week. It's like, how come my mom never taught me crap like this? So thanks for uh, looking out for me. You know what I mean? I'm learning so much. So now my kitchen looks nice and tidy. That feels good, but as I'm cleaning it and going through the cupboards and stuff, putting stuff away, the clean dishes, I'm thinking, wow, that corner cabinet back there, it's atrocious. I should probably like declutter that. But will I? I, probably not. And then also my spice cabinet, I don't even want to show you, I'm so embarrassed. And then I'm thinking, oh man, I need to do the laundry room too. There's there's just stuff all over there. And But you know, in real life, my eyes are looking at my living room and that's a mess and a half. One day, the mess will be gone and I will, to my surprise, miss it profoundly. That's what they say anyway, okay. I'm pretty sure I have glass in my heel. I don't know where it came from, but it's staying there. All right, I've been itching to make this ricotta. Gnocchi, for quite some time, I've had this ricotta in my fridge for a while, but it doesn't expire until April, hallelujah. So I want to do something with it before it goes bad. This is just a small little 15 ounce container. I have two of them, so I could make a double batch or I could make the ricotta cake that I was talking about. So I'm undecided at the moment. If you've heard of gnocchi, it's like the pillowy dumpling. It's like an Italian pasta and it's like light and fresh, normally made with potato. So potato is lovely, but it's even lighter and more pillowy if you make it with some cheese. So I'm gonna get what we need. We need some flour and I forgot if this, this has been in my pantry just uncovered for a while. It, the lid's in there, but it never seems to make it on top. I am trying to avoid, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's flour and not pancake mix. Yeah, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm like 94% sure, but I'm trying to avoid going out in the garage and bringing the whole thing in. Cause like, I just, I just need a break. So really simple ingredients. You need some egg yolks and then some Parmesan. Fresh is best, but uh, that's what we got. And then some salt and pepper. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Looks like it. So it looks like a smaller. Ooh. Smaller batch. If you're really fancy, like my dad, you do it on the countertop and make a well. But I, yeah, this is not gonna make a lot. I might double it. I don't feel like scraping it off of my counters, even though I'm gonna have to anyway. And then three quarters cup of Parmesan cheese. Mix that together. Oh wait, we need some salt and a little bit of pepper. I probably should have gotten my dad's recipe for this. <laughs> Sorry, dad. And here's what makes them taste so great and rich. We're just gonna take the yolk of three eggs and plop them in here. Make a well if you want, but I just mix it all together. Save the egg whites for tomorrow for breakfast. Mine will probably sit in the fridge until they go bad. Three yolks, nice and rich. And then I'm gonna throw in the ricotta cheese. And I'll tell you something. My, there's a hundred, probably a hundred ways you can make gnocchi and you might think oh you're saying it wrong kim no i'm not and some people in the comments have my back thanks for, to you but i will tell you my favorite gnocchi is sweet potato and it is such a delight with a little bit of butter and sage i grew up eating it and just with like you know run-of-the-mill red sauce but I'll tell you, if you wanna switch it up, try this, try the regatta, or try making it with sweet potatoes with some butter and sage, and it's gonna blow your dang socks off. It's such a simple thing to make, but it's, I mean, I think it's pretty impressive. So I'm just gonna mix all of this together until everything's nicely combined and incorporated and to a dough-like consistency. Before I start rolling it out, I'm just going to fill up a pot of water 
This is how we cook the gnocchi. It's super simple. We just want to bring it to a boil. So while I don't want to wait for the water, I'm going to roll it out while it's boiling. Kill two birds. Okay, so since you're supposed to uh, kind of drain the ricotta in either cheesecloth or paper towel, I didn't do that. So I'm going to need it to be a little less moist. So I'm just gonna dust my work surface with some flour and then my hands a little bit. We don't want too much flour because that'll make the gnocchi just really dense and no one wants a dense gnocchi. All right, I'm taking my fancy bench scraper and I just take a little log at a time Oh my gosh, it's magic. Hold on, I might have to pull you closer. I'm too far away from the counter. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Now you're all up in the flour. Roll it out. Wait, are we cooking these right away or are we freezing them? I don't, I don't know, what, what day is it? I think I was planning on freezing this, but I don't know. Okay, as I rolled it out, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna freeze it. And when my dad used to freeze gnocchi, he would just put flour on it and make just to make sure that they didn't stick all over the place and to each other. All right, so once you have a nice long log, you just take your bench scraper or a knife, whatever you have, dental floss, and just cut it into pieces. And you could be really fancy and like get a fork and just roll it along the fork and it'll make nice lines. I don't have time for that. So my dad always taught me, just take your thumb indent it and that's where the sauce will kind of stick it'll give a nice little hole for the sauce to live and you're done just like that so bring them all up right onto the pan and i'm going to freeze these or if you have boiling water you just throw these straight into the water they cook up in no time at all i'm talking like 30 seconds to a minute oh man these are going to be so good i actually can't wait to eat them and i wish i would have made more <laughs> but I also want to try the other recipe too. So I'm going to repeat the same process until I run out of dough here. And you know what uh, my sister-in-law does? She makes this. Well, her, my nephew makes it too. And um, they have the sauce in the crock pot going and then they just throw the gnocchi after you boil it straight into the crock pot and then just keep it on warm and your dinner will be ready and waiting for you. All right, here we are. All finished, not too much. This is actually going to be like a side dish for dinner one night, it's gotta be. There's not enough to feed our huge family of seven. This is like a Kim size portion, but it is delicious. And I'm just gonna flash freeze these, which means I'm gonna throw them right in the freezer just on the pan. And then once they freeze solid for about, I don't know, I'll leave them in for probably at least two hours. Knowing me, I'll probably forget about it. It'll be longer. But then once they're frozen, I'll be able to throw them into a Ziploc bag to preserve them for who the heck knows, up to six months, but it'll get eaten from us before then. Look at these little pouches of heaven. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna get all the ingredients I need. It's called Italian lemon ricotta cake, light and moist recipe. And I think that's maybe what got me is the lemon into it because that's just, I'm ready for summer, it's Florida. So for us, we've got summertime weather all year long. I'm hoping it calls for three egg whites. Wouldn't that be a miracle? <gasps> Wait, I think I'm making something for Valentine's Day that needs, no, no an egg wash, so that's whatever. Anyway, hopefully I'll use those, fingers crossed. Yes, we get it, you lived in the foothills of Tennessee. Have you read that meme? It's like, I'm sure there's one blogger out there who has confessed to murder, but no one knows because no one ever reads the blog post. They just get to the recipe. Okay, looks pretty simple. All the usual suspects, butter, flour, sugar, except for regatta cheese, that's kind of weird. But also, I'm sure you can make it with like sour cream or something, right? Lemon, eggs, lemon zest. We're good to go. I got it. You should see my tripod. We're just all messy over here. I haven't even washed. Well, on my way back from the garage, I noticed that the washer is done. So I need to uh, give it a little switcheroni. I don't know why there's so much crap on the floor. Oh, the dreaded laundry. I, oh, did I fold those yesterday? Oh my gosh, I think I did. I didn't put anything away, which in my head is what I was thinking. So I'm gonna have to do that today. And there's more laundry. Um, this morning, Meredith wanted to wear her sky costume. She's real big on dresses and costumes lately. And I said, well, I don't, I have not washed sky yet, but I have frozen washed. So she was okay with that. 
But I need to, I, her laundry, I have yet to wash. And I think Eleanor's too. So I got to get on top of that one thing at a time. He's up already. Cat naps are his life. I'm gonna try to throw this together. Some of the butter was in my freezer because I just threw it all in there. And so I'm gonna try to soften this in the microwave from the freezer. I've never done that before. It might melt, but that'll be fine, I'm sure. Well, you know what the most exciting part about this recipe is the fact that I get to use my new KitchenAid for the first time. Uh, woo! Excited about that. You can mix it by hand, but the very first step is to like aerate the cheese and whip it for like four to five minutes. And I just don't have the muscle power for that quite yet. Yet or anymore, I don't know. So I'm gonna throw in three quarters cup of butter, which is one and a half sticks, along with one and a half cup of sugar. Mm, I can nearly taste it. And hot dog, does that mixer look good? And my paddle attachments are even different. They're white, that is so exciting. And my glass bowl, I think it's the first time for all of it. Okay, let it rip. Look at that thing. <laughs> Once this is nice and combined and a uh, little fluffy, pretty fluffy, you're going to add the 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese and then mix this for four to five minutes. Ooh, looking funky. While that is going, I'm going to get the zest of two lemons. Oh wait, I saw a trick. You're supposed to do zest it this way. That just, I don't like that. Ow, <laughs> I don't like that. So I'm gonna do it the way I want to do it, okay? Just like this. You only need the zest of one, but I always go above and beyond, especially when it comes to flavor. So I'm gonna do two. And you just zest enough to get to the white part. The white part is bitter, so you don't want that. The lemon zest is done. You need a spring four pan, a nine inch. I don't know how big this is, but one of mine is broken and I'm ha I thought I decluttered that, so I'm happy. Also preheat your oven to 350. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. I always leave pans in my oven, but I threw this in there yesterday to warm it up. Oh, that's funny. Didn't make it out alive. Okay, my gosh, that noise was getting old. Three eggs going straight in. I'm sure you incorporate them one at a time, but I don't care, so that's how I do it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to throw in just a splash of vanilla. <laughs> that's a pretty big splash. All of the lemon zest that those two lemons yielded, and that is a sad amount if you ask me. I mean, barely two teaspoons, maybe a tablespoon there. That's probably a tablespoon. Oh, and apparently we have to juice these. I'm gonna do two, I don't care. So the juice of at least one lemon. But you know me, going above and beyond. All right, give this a mix. Now it's time for the dry ingredients. I'm sure you can measure these out separately, but I never do. Just a little bit of salt going in there. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. I think that's baking soda. And then one and a half cups of flour. I'm pretty sure that's it. Mix that just until combined. Oh my gosh, I'm not even giving you the good angle. Ooh, wait. That's the good angle. Check it. Ooh, my goodness. All right, that looks combined to me. Ooh, salmonella, do we dare? All right, that's kind of funky. I could dig it though, you know? That's pretty good. Maybe it's just all the salt residue on my fingers, but it's decent. I'll take a third lick. Yeah, that's nice. So something my Oma taught me uh, so I'll pass down to you. She's pretty cool. Is uh, get some parchment paper, fold it in quarters, and then find the middle of the pan. It doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of imprint your parchment paper here, and then cut around it. And this is just to ensure that the cake does not stick to the bottom. You could, you know, flour and butter it and all that good stuff. But this is just extra protection. And she's actually the woman I got the, my springform pan from. I would have otherwise never known 
what the heck this is, okay? They didn't tell me about this, that cordon bleu. I'm just gonna spray it, the sides too. And then, oh, look at this batter, it looks delicious. Look at this bowl, oh man. My, you know, my life is really coming together, slowly but surely. I just need some chickens. Pour that batter right in. Oh gosh, the bowl is heavy. My, my bones are breaking. All right, that looks great. You know, I feel like this isn't a nine inch. I could be wrong. Ooh, it is. It is a nine inch pan. Well, hoot nanny. Throw this in 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. And in that 40 to 45 minutes, hopefully, let, uh, let, well, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something. Okay. Give it a good old, I don't know what that's called, but do that. We'll clean this up later. Actually, I should just take the time to clean it up now. Oh wait, boo, it's hot. Just wanna take a picture for the gram. Okay, little bit of this, little bit of that, and oh my, I think I just ate a lemon seed. We gotta set the stage. Ooh, yeah, Italian lemon ricotta cake. Okay, so before when I was cleaning the kitchen, in my head when I was cleaning, I was like, oh, maybe the voiceover, I can talk about the crock pot, but I totally forgot, so let me talk about it now. There is a crock pot. You guys, it probably costs just as much as a KitchenAid. Have you heard of this? L listen, I didn't even want to spend $50 on my crock pot. I waited for a sale. I want to say it was like 30 But now I follow this influencer that cooks, and she's like, this is the greatest crock pot I've ever owned. She's about to influence me to spend $300 on a crock pot. I've yet to do it, but I wanted to get your opinion. Is your crock pot freaking $300? What is there, a $250 mail-in rebate? I hope so. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> okay, good enough. So I almost forgot. I wanted to make this like pepper. I feel like I made it a couple of years ago. It's chicken and peppers. <laughs> Lemon is in it too. It's really good. It's like an appetizer, but I just eat it as a snack because I like it. It's refreshing and delicious and super simple to make so maybe i'll make that in a little bit i don't i probably won't make it today but it's on my list of things to make that is the best bed i've ever made my shoes are all over the room i've got diapers all over the place too and i have to replenish my diaper stash oh my gosh should we go through diapers so fast this is the first baby that we've like bought diapers for because normally we cloth diaper and I just can't even believe how fast we're going through them. Makes me want a cloth diaper but also I feel like I, I just need to get a couple more things underway before I begin that process. It's just you know more laundry <laughs> but I thought oh surely next time I go to Costco I'll pick up some diapers. N uh, no I ran out before I was able to uh, run to Costco. I'll probably do that next week, but I needed to supplement with some turgid diapers. All right, that looks better. Okay. Uh oh, okay. Oops, forgot that. Well, you guessed it. It is that time to switch over laundry. I couldn't hear the dryer anymore, so I'm just gonna switch it over. And I'm kind of debating going back and forth. Like, oh my gosh, a binky, I've been looking for this. We only have like three and we lose all of them all at the same time. I either know where they all are or none of them. Not that he really takes them anyway, but okay, well, this is getting out of control. This is how one load at a time is what happens. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Kim, why don't you just sort it as you're taking it out of the dryer? I don't know. I just won't today. Sometimes I do that, but not often. Also rarely. I'm sure there's another load that I could probably do around the house, but I'm looking at that thinking that's enough, right? So when this load is done, I'll hold that, maybe. So there are a couple of things that I have been wanting to talk <gasps> What is that noise? It's just the knob against the wall. That's it. Okay. So couple of projects, you know, working on a couple of weekend projects. Other people like build out their garages on the weekend. I think about, oh, maybe I should declutter underneath my sink. It's looked worse, 
we've seen it before. We've seen worse. My closet is the second thing. So I'm hoping it'll just take like a few minutes here and there, like, you know, getting this in order and then also my closet. So the last time we went through my closet, I didn't pick up the clothes, but I did find this and I decluttered a bunch of crap from my closet, like a bunch, but I had this and I knew that I needed to go through it and get the items out that I liked, mostly just earrings. I'm just gonna poke through it and see, like I can't even find the match to this earring. So why would I keep it? The peacocks are okay, I'll keep those. The ring is nice. But I know I certainly do not wanna keep this jewelry box. It's just like a really big hunk of monk and I don't have, I don't want it. Do we like these? I don't know. I'll keep them just in case, but I don't think so. I'm already doing a poor job of decluttering. Oh, these owls. Oh, they used to be so cute. Wait, is this from my wedding? Where's the other one? Also, ugh, why did I keep it? It looks horrid. Oh my goodness, this looks like a mood ring. And have you seen how they have kind of like remarketed the mood ring? Now they call it a vibe ring. Like vibe check. Sorry, it will always be a mood ring for me. I am a true, I guess I am a millennial. Anyway, also not keeping this. So that feels good, getting rid of that, just keeping a few items that I found in there. And this will go like with my other earrings. Cool. Okay, well the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why I'm keeping the box for this. I actually really love this, the falling in love scent. I've tried to look for the perfume. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like not a punch you in the face scent, but I love it. Um, this I should, oh, I tried to put it back, but you know, living life most of the time with one hand is going to be kind of hard. So I'm just going to shove that in there. My contact solution. I'm a mess. Um, the, by the way, this contact solution has been bothering me lately. I've used it for years and years and years. It's the peroxide kinds that you need the special thing for. Anyway, I let it sit for, you know, at least seven hours and it still burns me. These go in the kitchen. Burns me in the morning when I put it in. So I don't know what that's all about, but I don't like it. I do love this bag, like my travel bag. I don't know what the heck any of this is. A hair, oh, it's a hair mask? <gasps> Shampoo? Why am I just not finding me? I thought, I had no idea. Okay, I'm gonna use them. Put them up there in the shower. Okay, look, we're getting somewhere. I could probably get rid of everything in those drawers. All-purpose balm, cool, throw that there. Hey, I ran out of vitamins, so I'm gonna throw these up. Wolfgang turns four months old, so I just went through another bottle, so I'm gonna replenish my stash. And then these are all my lotions that I don't really use, but like to have around. That's good enough. Okay, that, you know what, that's looking better. This is a, a thing of free samples that I got for free. <laughs> And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll just give it to the girls when they have a sleepover with their friends or whatever. Okay, well that feels a little better. I got rid of a few boxes. Not Pinterest worthy, but who the hell cares? Moving to my closet. I know, I know. It's just like, it's not my fault. <laughs> it is my fault. Yeah, so this is my pile of clean clothes. These are the returns that they wouldn't accept. <laughs> that's all clean it just I need space for it oh boy and then this is from the garage but it's too hot to keep it out there so I I think I'm gonna hide it back there or something anyway I just need to deal with all of this it's just too much I got some space up there I can use and there's a lot of space in here I'm just not using it also lazy and like I'm not putting my clean clothes away because I'm too busy putting Meredith's away and Wentworth's away and making sure everyone else does it and I don't know nothing else to say I guess it's my fault, I gotta take accountability. But you know what, I'm dealing with it today and I'm putting it up and tomorrow will probably be another pile, okay? Cause have you seen the pile in my laundry room right now? I guess I'll just keep these for like toys for other people. Save them for next Christmas. Okay, I cannot explain to you. In the moment I was like, oh, like why am I even doing this? It's just, there's gonna be another pile here in like a day. And I don't, it's not really in my way. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not, it's not in a common area of the house. So I feel like it's tucked away and only I see it and who cares, you know, but I care because let me tell you, since I have cleaned this pile of crap in my closet, 
every time I go in my closet, and which is pretty frequent, I am like, wow, I can walk in here without like stepping on stuff, you know? And it, I'm not, I don't know, bombarded with like chaos. <laughs> I mean, my closet is still pretty chaotic, but I've seen worse. It's been worse. And it's just so nice to have all of that up off of the floor. Most of it were cardigans. Why do I even own this many sweaters and cardigans living in Florida? I'll tell you why. Because I love them. Okay, leave me alone. And that's that. That's all I have to say about that. And then going through the pile of stuff in the baskets to my right. Oh boy, it's like pajamas. I just need to go through it all. But I'm overwhelmed in doing that because I know, you know, pretty fresh postpartum still. And I know that 90% of these clothes don't fit me right now, but hopefully in a year they will. So I'm trying to hold off on decluttering. I might do like a mini declutter, a mini purge, just so I have room for some stuff. I don't know. I am still working through it. Clearly, I'm, I'm just talking, talking my way through it. I might just get a few baskets for the part that I decluttered a f- couple of weeks ago. So I have baskets for like leggings and pajamas. And that would get all of that mess off of that rack in front of me and just move it behind me, but also in a basket. So it's semi-organized, but I don't have to fold anything or hang anything up. So I feel like it would be just easier for me to throw it in there. But also, will I throw it in there? TBD, honestly. I don't, you know, I'm just doing my best over here. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to survive. And I'm doing a decent job. That wasn't very convincing, but I think, you know, it's good enough. All right, looks a lot better. Hallelujah. I feel a little better. I'm not going to lie. Not the best, not the worst. Obviously, could use much more improvement. I don't know why I have this many sweaters, but I do. There's that. Good enough. Here's the cake. It came out of the oven a little bit ago. I'm just letting it cool down. I'm gonna pop this springform pan open. Ooh, and just like that. Oh my wonder. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's crack it open. Oh wait, do we dust it with um, powdered sugar? I'm pretty sure we do, but too late for me. Yeah, let's get a nice hefty piece. Make it worth it, right? Oh my heavens, check out how fluffy and aerated this thing is. <gasps> Powdered sugar for sure. Maybe. Let me take a bite. Sadly, I don't have a sifter, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it over top and hope that's good enough, you know? That's pretty good. All right, there we go. Hey, I'm gonna take a dive into it. Oh wow, look at that. Mmm, that's nice. Simple. Delicious, not nutritious. Oh my gosh, another voiceover already? I'm not even, I'm not even done eating my chicken, chicken sandwich. Hold on, I got a chew. Okay, speaking of eating, I ate that ricotta cake. It, it is delicious. It's like a slight hint of lemon. It's so light and airy. Oh my gosh. Gosh, you know what else I like? A good tres leches cake, which we haven't had in a really long time, but that is the complete opposite of this Italian lemon regatta cake because I feel like the tres leches is like dense and so, so rich and also delicious, but in different ways, you know? I should make that soon. Actually, today, hopefully, uh, it's still the morning, so we'll see how the day progresses, but my plan is to make some Valentine's Day treats, but you hopefully have already seen that video if all goes to plan, which you know what, things don't normally do. So either it's posted or it will be posted soon eventually. Mm, Who the heck knows? You know, fingers crossed. I plan your life, but do it in pencil. (laughs) That's a great quote to live by. I don't know who where that quote originated from, but it is a good one. Yes, plan out your life, but do it in pencil so you can erase and move all along, you know? Isn't that a good one? That, that's what I, it's probably like my high school yearbook quote, you know? It wasn't. My actual high school yearbook quote was something that I could not even regurgitate if I tried. I tried to like remember a quote, but I didn't have it written down. So it's just like, I don't even want to go back. It's probably the most embarrassing thing I've ever written down in my entire life. Don't even, if you went to high school with me, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for myself and for you.
if you go back and look. I'm just kidding, just for me. <laughs> Right, that is it hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and getting a little bit of stuff done around the house today don't forget to check out green chef my code is the wads 60 to get 60 percent off of your first order and free shipping scream and deal if you want to subscribe put a little happy in your day and i'll see you next time bye